Hey friends, it's Sonya Miller with Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily vlog. Of course, we're getting into something else creative today. Don't you love it? Well, you know me, I just can't throw things away. Do you see that plank on my table here? Well, it's one of those pieces of the shelving unit that we tore out of the bedroom. Remember we made it over into a gym. So I have like six or seven of them and I've been staring at them and I got the idea that I should turn one into a pumpkin stacker. So what you're watching me do right now is get ready with some glue. I'm using some Liquitex that I got on sale, of course, at Hobby Lobby because I'm a sale kind of girl. I'm gonna make use of it. Definitely make use of your supplies. Don't let them dry up. You have them, use them, right? Don't save them for a rainy special project. This is your special project. So I'm gonna make use of this, but if you don't have any of that because it's a little expensive, you could also use some Mod Podge. That's excellent stuff as, stuff as well. I also collect those books of scrap paper. Uh, just, you know, you can get different styles. So I've picked out some of my favorite patterns to put on the background here. I enjoy putting paper on the background for two reasons. It gives a pop of color through the paint that I put down, and also it gives some great texture to pieces that I'm working on. So for those two reasons, I love putting a scrapbook paper background down. Now I just loosely here am mapping out some stacked pumpkins. Guess what? They're not going to rot. They're not going to fall over. They're going to be perfect again next year to work with. And pumpkins, uh, honestly, you start with the centerpiece. You just kind of like make a like a cat eye in the center and then do your commas out on each side. They don't have to be perfect. Again, just loosely mapping them out here. I lay down the shape with some black paint and also around my edging because I tend to go to the dark antiqued shabby side. Oh, I love me some dark shabby looks. So I'm gonna use my palette knife today and my Junk Monkey paints. I'm just pulling a bunch of my favorite colors out that I have in my stash. Also some white here. So the colors I have laid down right now are watermelon, ducky, buttercream, and grayish anatomy, and then white, like I say. So I mix white with a little bit of the color that I pick up on my palette knife and it gives me this really cool marbled look. And then I just fill in all those sections of the pumpkin. You see what I'm doing there? It's pretty darn easy. So with the black outline laid down and then with the marbled paint, the white and the whatever color else I have picked up at the same time on my palette knife, it gives me these really cool abstract shabby imperfectly perfect looking pumpkins. So, Let's lay down some colors. Once I'm done laying down the color, I take my palette knife and I can turn it on its edge on the side and just kind of like the thin edge of it picks up some paint, like I'm using the black paint to match the outline of the pumpkin. You just saw me do it there. And I can re um, put down those sections of the pumpkin. Not again, looking for perfect. We want them to be just kind of loosey goosey. That's, that's just the, that's the style I'm going for here. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of mouse in the house, again with a little bit of white, and I'm going to start to fill in the edging, the background around the pumpkins, and just work my way around. I'm not going for full coverage. I want a little of that background to show through. It makes it super interesting. Here's an up close look so you can see, right? It is just like frosting a cake. It is so much fun. So now I'm thinking that I should probably add in like what feels like a little bit of grass, ground, barnyard, earthy kind of feel here. So I'm pulling out my candy bar brown, be my honey, and just basically putting in some what I'm envisioning as being like straw pieces, hay pieces. Now I picked up a little bit of Stormy Forest and I'm gonna create a little bit of a blue sky with it. So I'm gonna have some blue as well in my background. I love how all these colors are coming together. And it's right about now that I'm thinking, hmm, I feel like maybe it needs something else. So number one, I'm gonna paint my edge. I'm just carrying that black around. Think about it like framing out a picture. When you put a picture 
in a beautiful frame, it just pops. So I love to paint my dark edging. I also like to wrap a little bit of my edging. You know how we talk about doing the eyeliner effect here, bringing a little bit of that um, side paint over as well to the top on your actual painted surface. So I love how that's looking. And this is the part where I'm going, okay, what else do I need here? And then I'm thinking, maybe I should put something in between. So I was using the candy bar brown to create some shadow in between the pumpkins. And then I decided to pull out some green and just be like, yeah, let's just put some greenery in here. And I really feel like this brought it to life. So between uh, mixing up my greens, just pull out your Lucky Clover. You can create different shades of green by adding a little bit of white or even a little bit of yellow to your uh, green. So I wanted some dark, some lighter greens, and now I'm just kind of going back, adding in a few little uh, bits of the vintage white back into it to give it some highlights. And yeah, I feel like we're there. Now the best thing for me to do is just leave this sit overnight, and when I come down in the morning, if I feel like I wanna add anything else into it, I can definitely do it then. But I don't wanna overwork it, right? I don't want all my colors to get completely grayed out and marbled because they just all went together because this is all wet right now. So let's let this dry, and some more on the vlog. I can't wait to find a place to decorate with my pumpkin stack. And now that it's done, it is good for annually to be able to bring out. So hopefully you're inspired to paint one or four pumpkins or three pumpkins or just do whatever the heck you want. Go bananas, friends. See you again tomorrow.